what I learned and what I learned and realized is this here. When you, uh, when, when I'm trying to converse with people in the Bible, when it comes to talking about our people being the chosen people, the so-called blacks, Hispanic, Hispanics and Native American people, the only way you, it's, it's, it's best to talk to some people more for the most part, and you should do it. You should always have the Bible in it. Whatever they say, if they don't never accept, if they very, especially if they are very manipulated. If, if, if they're very manipulated and you do your, you, you got to make sure you do your homework because if you don't and you talking to them, they're going to make you look stupid. They will make you look like, a, they, they, they will make you, it's just something about when they talking to you, them some strong demons coming out because they're going to justify Christianity, especially these false, false, false ass prophets. Yeah. Now, when you say it like that, they come, what's coming to their mind, you dumbinizing. Yeah, they talking about you dumbinizing other people. Like, what the hell do you mean dumbinizing? I'm not dumbinizing. I'm only showing what you said is incorrect. You're telling me that it doesn't matter. Uh, anybody can be saved in, no matter what you do, no matter what it is. That's not what the Bible says. So how in the hell is that dumbinizing me correcting you on a situation? Something just told me to just talk about this. Hint. You better make sure that you stay in your Bible at all times. I don't care if you just trying to explain to them, even if they don't accept it, your best option right now, I'm telling you, is to stay reading the Bible. You got to, if you don't know, rehearse and learn the scriptures. Learn the ones that you just, just do the best you can. We got to do that. You got to do that. Because, look, let me tell you something. At all costs, they will not accept anything that you say. They're going to say you're a religious person. They're going to say that you're trying to get everybody to accept what you believe. And if they don't accept what you believe, you're going to get mad. You got to know how to put all that stuff in this context when they come at you talking that bullshit. When they go to telling you something about a religion, because that's they're going to go there. Trust me. As a weapon, they're going to go there. They're going to go them routes. You just mad because I don't get mad because people don't accept what I believe over what they believe. And then y'all don't want other people to listen to y'all. And y'all want everybody to listen to y'all and, and listen to what y'all believe. But when it comes down to listen to what they believe, y'all just don't want to listen. Y'all think y'all know everything. That's how you know it's a cult. You got to know, we got to know how to put all that stuff in context. What they talking about. And then the first thing when they go to doing that, I ask them, okay, do you, do, do, uh, do, do, do you uh, follow the Bible? Okay, what if I took, what if that person took and went, the Bible says thou should not lie with mankind, right? As he lies, with, as women lie with women, right? So how is me saying that that's contrary to God's law? When I actually can go in the Bible and show that to you. How is that me being mad at you for me showing you something that you're doing that's going to get you put to death by the Most High God? Where is that in the Bible? I would like to see that. I'm dominizing other people. That is nowhere in the Bible, dominizing other people. When you're trying to show somebody us where they're going off. The, this is, we, we talking about showing people where the hell they're going off. Not fucking dominizing people. Who... Who said something about dumbinizing somebody? We just saying that we just saying that homosexuality and all that shit is wrong. Yes, that's what we saying. Two fucking women and two men can't make no damn baby. Show me in the Bible where it says two men and two damn women can make a baby. Show that to me. That's contrary to God. That's filthy. And anybody come around me with that type of stuff, I'm gonna let them know. It's not condemning you. It's not dominizing you. It's correcting you. God condemns that. Those, are the, those ways are the ways of America. Now, how in the hell you tell me in the Bible, where is that dominizing, correcting a generation to keep them from perishing? I'm trying to stop your ignorant self from perishing. That ain't got nothing to do with me dominizing you. What are you saying about dominizing? That's what you got to tell people. 
Sometimes you got to tell them, show me where I dominize you at. What the hell does that mean? And if, you, if you're going to say something, uh, if you're going to say it, then you tell me exactly what does that mean versus what you see me doing right now. I'm only showing, it ain't like I don't have my proof. I've been sitting here reading out the Bible a whole damn, a whole hour showing you why you were sitting there with no books. You sitting there with no books, sitting up there um, just talking at the top of your head. You know? You just sitting up there talking at the top of your head. You know? You see what I'm saying? And I'm sitting, I've been sitting here debating with you for an hour. I should I'm, but I'm reading out the Bible, but you're still talking over the Bible. So how that shows you right there. You showing who dumb, you dominizing. You, if anybody dominizing, it's you. Because number one, you dominizing other people for trying to show you what's right. Yeah. You dominizing other people for trying to show you the correct way to do it. So how is me showing you the correct way to doing it and doing it and that's dominizing? But I'm dominizing. In my mind, I'm like, what the hell is they talking about? Talking about dominizing. You dominizing other people. What the hell is you talking about dominizing? You can't, I mean, what I'm doing, there's a difference between a constructive criticism and, and dominizing. But I will say that condemning what? Condemning your action. The Bible talks about condemning. I'm not dominizing you. If that's the only weapon you got to hang on to, I would like to for you is to get your Bible, use your history and show me and, and debunk what I said. That's how you need to come. Not just sit up and try to just come at me and you don't have a, number one, you didn't even have a Bible in your hand. Not one time. You ain't quoted not one scripture, but you were sitting there looking crazy the whole time. But I'm the one that cut you. You got cut because you opened your mouth and you didn't know what you was talking about. Is that being disrespectful to you? No, I'm just saying you got, you, you're incorrect because what you got to do is that you got to go do your research. I don't care what no one says. The Bible tells you, every, the, you know what I mean? You, you have to follow that. Now, you, then they came at me where the devil know the Bible too. I said, yeah, that ain't got nothing to do with somebody showing you. The, 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 here's the difference. Knowing the Bible and understanding the Bible is two different things. How do I know that? You go to um, Matthew 22 and verse 29. Matthew 22 and verse 39. The Bible says, ye know not the scriptures, nor the power of God. What is the power of God? The power of God is a will, a will power. What is a will power? Have you ever heard of this is the love of God in 1 John 2 and verse 3? For this is the love. He that says, I know him and keep is not his commandments. There's a liar and the truth is not in him. Now, if you go to 1 John 5 and 3, it says, for this is the love of God, right? That we keep his commandments. So the, the will power, love itself, within itself is a will power is to do something that somebody like. If somebody say, go to the store and buy me some vegetables, right? Go to the store and buy me some vegetables. And I say, no, uh, no, I don't want to do that. I want to buy what I want. A will power will, will not make you go and buy them some damn rats or buy some damn liquor and, and poison it for them to kill themselves. That's not a will power. That's a weak, that you're weak. And that means, and plus it says, you don't know the scriptures. That means you don't have love. 
you don't have the power to love and you don't know what the hell you're talking about. That's what the Most High is saying. He basically is saying you don't know what the hell you're talking about. If you look right there where it says, what does it say? It says in uh, Matthew 22 and, tw and, and, and 29, ye know not the scriptures nor the power of God. That means God is telling you, you don't know what the hell you're talking about. That's what it means. Yeah, that's what it means. It means you don't know what the hell you're talking about. Yeah. Yeah. So that's what that's my message to that individual person. Because people have to understand the difference between dominizing and some and somebody that actually understands. Why you think Christ said you know not the scriptures nor the power of God? He didn't say it's wrong you it's wrong for you to know the scriptures. He didn't say it's wrong for you to know the scriptures. He said, you don't know the scriptures. You don't know nothing about the power of God. In other words, God is telling you, sh shut up, sit your ass down, because you don't know what the hell you're talking about. Your God is telling you this thing, but you telling me I don't know what the hell I'm talking about. You know? No, you can't do that, bro. Yeah. Because... It's good to listen to somebody that know. Now, knowing and understanding is two is two different things. Because that's why in Proverbs chapter three and verse five, in all thy getting, get understanding. Hold on. 